All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a menu bar in your program. And a menu bar is very effective if you're using a, if you have, if you're using, um, if you're not, if you don't have a visual editor and you're using a Eclipse to make your program in GUI, it's really effective to organize your items in the top, like a menu bar, like this in Eclipse. Okay, so we have a basic project here and we're going to start off by creating a main and first I'm going to create a frame and then I'll add a menu to that frame so I'm just going to create that right now and I'll be back in a second alright so we have a frame now and uh, now what we do next is we add our J menu bar so there's three items to a menu in Java so the first is J menu bar which is the whole bar at the top the second is J menu and J menu is each each of these menu items in on the menu bar. So file is a J menu, edit is a J menu, and so on. And the third is J menu item. J menu item is each item in the list under the J menu. So these are all items: the new, the open file, the close are all items. So next, we'll, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create our J menu bar. J menu bar, and you can call it anything. I'll call it menu bar is equals new j menu bar so we have our new menu bar so we take our frame and we set it we take our menu bar and we set it to the frame so how we do that is frame dot set j menu bar and then we just put menu bar okay so it's been set as our menu bar so what we next what we do next is we add menu to our menu bar so to do that we go J menu and well I'll put two of them. I'll put file equals new J menu and in the brackets in quotes goes what the user will see. So I'll put file here and likewise I'll go help is equals new J menu. Help. Okay, so we have our two new menus. So we're gonna add our menus to this menu bar. So to add our menus to our menu bar, we just go menu bar dot add and we put the file and we put we go menu bar dot add help okay so they've been added now we're gonna add J menu items to our J menu so we're gonna add all these items inside our menu which is file so what we do what we do to do that is J menu item and again we can call it anything I'll call it exit is equal to new j menu item and in the brackets goes what the user sees and for this I'll go j menu item uh, about is equal to new j menu item about okay so and now we take our menu we take our menu item and we add it to our menu so basically we're just putting new in file open file in file close in file and we're just doing that so to do that we just go file dot add and we just go exit so exit gets added to file and help dot add about all right so we're done that we've made our menu we're done but we have to create action listeners for a menu because I'll just create one right now just to show you quickly you can check out the video on action listeners it's actually done the same way so uh, class um, exit action implements action listener actually before I do this I'm going to have to import java dot awt dot um, event dot star I'll just import that right now okay so action listener um, public void action performed action event e okay so we have our action listener and uh, okay so um, now we're gonna put what we want to do inside here so system dot exit zero that just exit terminates all program so basically what this does is if exit action is clicked it exits the program so 
we're gonna add this action listener to our exit so we just go exit dot add action listener new exit action and again this one this one was this was explained earlier on in the action listener video that I made so you can check that out there so um now we're basically done so as I said earlier J menu bars are really effective in Java for making if you want to make a J menu bar you can use it for organizing all your buttons like instead of putting all these buttons here you can put all of them in the top and it's really hard to lay the lay layout too if you have a lot of buttons especially if you don't have a visual editor so you put them in the menu bar that way the user can find it himself scroll through the menus and find it so now right, and I'll just run this program and show you before finish up here so as you can see we have our menu bar right at the top just like Eclipse does so file and we have our help help about file exit we can click exit and it'll exit the program so I just wanted to show you menu bar before we get into uh, graphics in the next video making shapes making objects and stuff like that so I just made this video to show you about menu bars in Java so I hope this was useful to you and I hope that you tune in for the next video about graphics okay so thanks for watching